Hey guys! I wanted to film a 360 video for my channel and since it wouldn't really work with nail art I decided to just put a few outfits together and share it with you guys so if you're on a desktop computer just make sure you have the latest version of Chrome to get the best viewing experience and also bump up the resolution to 4k and if you're on your cell phone you can just pan it around to see which direction you want to look at like there's a fountain right over there so you could just turn it around or use your mouse on, on a computer to get you there so yeah let's get started to start off I went with a full-on boho look on top I have a flowy top with its elasticized sleeves which you can wear on or off your shoulders I paired this with a pair of very on-trend high-waisted bell-bottom jeans I love the cute braided pocket details that this pair has. Make sure to look around the video for an up-close look of the outfits. I'll also link them down below. I got the purse from TJ Maxx, but I don't know the brand, so I'll link a similar look in the description below. Summer is not officially over, so a cute pair of statement-making sunglasses is a must. A wedge sandal also has a retro feel to them and the color goes with any outfit. Add some cute extra details like flash tattoos and a long chain necklace to complete the look. This second look has a 90s throwback feel with a black trapeze dress and a cute white crossbody bag with silver strap chain. It's still really hot out so these black gladiator sandals are comfy and functional. To get a 90s feel, tie a gingham button down at the waist. I always get cold when I'm inside wherever the AC is blasting so I like having the option of wearing it to warm me up. Cute trendy look that's also very practical. I like to throw on a hat to cover up any bad hair days as well. Lastly, throw on a statement necklace and a cool pair of shades to make this look your own. Yeah, I'm just learning how to skateboard so this was super scary because it felt like I was going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> for my third and final look, I went for a comfy and laid back but still put together. 70s fringe is back and adds a cute detail to a bright crossbody bag. It also makes it look like you put some effort into your outfit. On bottom, I picked my go-to pair of jeans. These are my favorite because they have just the right amount of stretch. I paired them with an olive colored tee because one, I'm obsessed with graphic tees at the moment and two, it's a must for this fall. Add a pair of gold snake printed slip-ons to complete the look. <laughs> 